you can go to school and study, or you can go to school and change the world. You see, as a little kid, like most kids, I had no idea what I wanted to do when I grow up. Actually, my only real hobby was creating these silly films with my friends. And looking back, what was really cool about filmmaking was that no two days were the same. Uh, filmmaking is, you realize pretty soon, a matter of solving unique problems in novel ways. For instance, this one time I wanted to take a dolly shot. A, a dolly is just a little cart. You put your camera on it and you can follow a target very cinematically. And the thing is, I didn't have $300 to rent a dolly. But that didn't stop me. Instead, I rented a wheelchair and I took the same shot from the wheelchair for $10 instead. Right? And it was moments like this that sparked something in my head. That it is in my power to solve problems. And I wished that there was some way to take the things I imagine and build them. But how? I was always fascinated about how technology is driving change in our world, how previously unthinkable breakthroughs are possible today because of technology. So it became clear that my next big challenge would be to learn, understand, and leverage technology, to take those ideas from my movie scripts and build them in our world. So I did a natural thing. I hopped onto a plane, I landed in Silicon Valley, and I locked myself into something called a coding bootcamp. For three months straight, my days looked uh, as a mix between algorithms, creating my own projects, eating cheap fast food, all of it. And it was awesome, because with a few lines of code, you are able to solve real-world problems. By the time I finished this, I was missing college classes, and I wanted to go back to my university friends. I wanted to share this new world with them. But you see, the challenge was, people are afraid of technology. People are afraid of technology. I heard it all from, uh, I struggled with mathematics in high school, this is probably not something for me, too. I'm the creative type. But in the following months, I have taught programming to hundreds of university students. And I have not found one that is not able to learn how to code if their mind is set on it. It is important, it is a rewarding and uh, empowering experience. And most, important, most importantly, the world needs you. Look at this, 900,000, a big number. Not only because I used my biggest PowerPoint, PowerPoint font for it, <laughs> but this is the shortage of IT professionals in the European Union that we need by 2020. These are people that we lack, and it's a shame because Without these people, we are missing out on innovation. We are missing out on solving problems that could have otherwise be solved. It's really a shame. And then here's the number, another big number, a million. What does this one stand for? We have seen and heard how our world has a big crisis, that people have to flee their homes because of injustice and because of war. More than a million refugees have reached the shores of Europe, of Europe in 2015 alone. People that want to start a new life in our communities. And now put yourself in my shoes. Imagine you're in this red spot, and you're thinking, there's a huge IT crisis, 900,000 specialists are needed and we lack. And there's a million people that want to start again. 900,000, one million. Now, I'm not crazy, I'm not saying we should match all of them. But what if we could match some of them? As it turns out, if you put two big problems together, you don't necessarily end up with a huge one. Yet, our world is increasingly controlled by the wealthiest and their wealth. When have we decided that money is the currency that dictates somebody's future opportunities? Why is it that in a globally connected world, the best education in the world is not, is not accessible to everyone? Well, I believe that we should try to build a world in which greed and passion are more valuable than money. And on this foundation, something called Restart Network came to be. A coding bootcamp for refugees that takes people with no IT background and over three months of hardcore programming helps them start a new life. You see, what's really cool about this is that it is completely crowdsourced. It's the idea that if you have the aim of helping a million people, you do not need a million dollars to start from. The community is driving it. And 
As I was teaching this bootcamp, I had the chance to be in front of these newcomers and teach them programming. <laughs> I realized that having access to education is not enough. Because think about it, last night I took this USB stick and I could literally download the whole Wikipedia database in English, all the English articles are in my hand. You could argue the immensity of human knowledge is in my hands. But would it do any good if I take this USB stick and I give it to somebody here? Would it do any good if I go on an airplane and I start throwing these USB sticks over some developing country? We know the answer, because there is something missing. We also miss access to equal opportunity. We miss the chance for these people that acquire new skills to use them to solve problems around them, to start rewarding careers. We must give people the chance to work hard for something that they are passionate about. So Restart Network asked the world, are you going to join us on our mission to make world-class tech education a reality for anyone? And the world responded. From industry-leading tech companies to experts to people like us, it proved that we can come together to solve problems that matter to all of us. Because we truly rise by lifting others. And something like Restart Network does not solve the crisis. It's just a little part of the solution. <laughs> if you look in the world today, there are more refugees than during the Second World War. If you look in the world today, there are more refugees than during the Second World War. But what gives me tremendous hope for the future is seeing our first class of students graduate. More than half of them already have internship or job offers, and all of them are empowered and more confident to tackle the issues around them. Many more of these classes are on the way. And look, don't get the wrong message. This is not our only problem, that we lack IT specialists and there is a refugee crisis. In fact, if you look in the world today, 900 million people cannot read or write. More than a billion people do not have access to clean water. They do not have access to electricity. What can we do about that? I think it starts with a simple realization that a project like Restart Network was set up by a team of university students, myself included. Our average age was 21, but it did not matter. Because for the first time in our history, it is possible for people like us to have an impact in the world. It is possible for, for small teams of bold thinkers to leverage technology, start small, but aim to have a global impact. So we can solve really big problems as long as we understand the power of working together. So what problem are you going to solve? Thank you. <laughs>